Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice day out today. Let's see, take a look. It's um, got really cold. It got to freezing last night. And, uh, I mean, like, this is North Georgia, but it was uh, 85 degrees a couple weeks ago. And then it went down to freezing. But what I got to do here is, um, see, so find the box with the cable stuff in it. Yeah, I don't think it's that one. Uh, that's that's air conditioning. Okay, I think it's this one here. Yeah, that's the splitter there. Now let's see this this is coming from the road. That's the ground wire. And we have um three three splits here. One, two, three. And two of these come from upstairs, and one of them goes downstairs. And what I gotta do is the ones coming from upstairs, one of those I'm gonna use for the antenna that's upstairs in the attic. But I'm, I gotta put that uh, that thing that I, that I got, I showed in the other video, that uh, surge suppressor and uh, lightning kinda sort of protector. We'll put that in for the upstairs one. Then I gotta get another line going inside the house for the antenna. And then this line here is just gonna be for the um, the modem, the cable modem. I'm still using the cable modem. So I gotta figure that out here. The easiest way to figure out um, what line comes in the downstairs, like, that downstairs line there is um, look at the blinky lights on the cable modem. You gotta pick one of these at random, I guess. I'm gonna try this one here first. Oh, screw this bad boy. Okay, I can go in the house and see if that cable modem uh, went off. Nope, it's still uh, synced in and uh, blinking away there. Okay, because this is at random, I'm going to just try number two here. Nope, still, uh, still happy. Okay, the downstairs one got to be this one here. So, for a sanity check, I'm going to have to disconnect it. Okay, the, the third one was it. So, uh, now I'm just going to unplug this thing. And, um, no sense of having it, like, do that. Just pull the plug. See, now it's totally dark. So, I got to get working outside, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, the little caps that came with the um, the surge suppressor, I'm just going to put that on on the existing uh, tap here. Keep moisture out of that. Then I could hook this back up. That's for the cable modem downstairs. Okay, got the cable modem hooked back up, and it all synchronizes in, and it does what they call training to... Um, Resynchronize so it knows how much uh, power it um, it has to send back to the to the to the station wherever the signal is coming from. But it has to do the training to adjust the power. But it's probably has to send a little less power now because I took some of the um, antenna stuff that was on there, the old coax. You know, it was probably loading it down a little bit. So uh, you know, maybe the internet would be a little more reliable. But it's been pretty good on the cable system. It's okay, I got this done. So I look out the door and then there's cops here. I don't think they're after me though, I think they're after that car there. 
It's never a dull moment in, in, in the hood. Never a dull moment. So we got this here, it looks like this. Okay, so now we got this. We got this cable comes from upstairs. So I'm going to end up making that the antenna, I suppose. That goes into the surge protector, lightning sort of protector thing. Then this is going to go to that, also that ground wire right there. Let's see if I get closer in on this. Yeah, that ground wire there. Then that goes into the input of the splitter, which is a cheap splitter. You get like 3 dB loss on each one of these. So that's about half the power. So I gotta try and see how it works. Then this one comes out of there and goes back upstairs. And then uh, I got this cable here. This one here I gotta hook up. Okay, and this cable goes back inside the house. I gotta drill a hole in there somehow and go into the downstairs and that's gonna be the antenna wire for downstairs. So I hope all that makes sense. I think it does. I gotta cram all this back in the box. Okay, the, the guy just told me what's going on. The transformer's leaking over across the street there. That's what that bucket's for. That's what that barrel's for there. I guess the transformer's leaking, probably nice PCBs or something. So they're going to shut my uh, power off. That's what they're going to do. Shut my power off for 30 minutes, he says. Now how the hell am I going to do my work? Hmm. Doggone it. They got a lot of trucks out here just to sh change that one transformer. One, two, three. Well, this guy walking around over here must be calling his wife or something. Got four trucks out there. A couple guys standing there. Got a big crane here. It's going to lift the transformer up. This is all underground wiring, by the way. Trucks over here. You know, it, it looks like um, it's like they're rebuilding the neighborhood here just to change one transformer. Makes me wish I was on their payroll, huh? Now, this is a question. How many guys does it take to change a transformer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. That's the answer. Man, this is good work if you could get it, man. I'm telling you. Seven guys that changed the transformer. Wow. And four trucks. This might be a good time to work on this cable thing. Again, it might be a good time to bypass this meter here, this electrical meter. But I don't know. See, this electrical meter is special. What this thing does is this meter here transmits to the cell tower, and this meter, you know, relays your information. So they don't they don't need meter readers anymore. It's broadcast to the cell tower. And, you know, you can't tamper with this stuff anymore, you know? This stuff is way too complicated. Sure is. But I wish I could boost this thing here and bypass this doggone meter, but that will never work. It's too smart. In fact, this meter is probably smarter than I am, man. See, they really got eight guys here. One of them, I must have multiplied or something. Uh, eight guys. They got one guy up on the truck here. Got the crane. Uh, picking that transformer up there. That looks like the new one there. Man. Tow that bell. Lift that barge. 
Yeah, this guy here is holding up the street sign that says 25 mile per hour. He's holding that up here. It's making it look professional looking. We got a lot of guys working on this project. Yeah, I gotta take this wall plate off and see what's on the other side. And if I can see the wires that come in from outside, then I don't know where to drill a hole through the house. Because I hate to drill a hole through the house this way and it goes to the wrong place outside, and vice versa. I hate to drive, drill a hole through the outside, inside, and have a hole like drill through the wall over here. So, you know, I'm gonna take this plate off here. You know, since they shut my power off, I have to use my combination LED flashlight. Woo! And it's combination, um, one of them stun guns, look at this. Woohoo! See? Stun gun. So it does both. That's pretty cool, I think, you know? They haven't used it yet, though. I haven't tried it on anybody. It does both. Flashlight and stun gun. So let's see over here. I gotta get these screws out here and take it out. And, yeah. Okay, I got that plate and the wire sticking out there. I gotta stick my head in there in this hole. I don't think I get my head in there. But I gotta stick my head in there and my nose or something. I gotta see where that wire is coming from. Yeah, see the wires. The wire that stapled is the one that goes in here. This one here. down there I can't see where it comes in but it's definitely this side of the of the stud there I want to see where it comes in I'm gonna to have to go outside and measure the house I think what I gotta do is go down in the hole here down in the hole under the crawl space and crawl away down here No lights, because just got my flashlight here. Let's see if that wire has come in from... See these wires outside. See if they go in under this crawl space here. And if I can fish the wire through there, then fish it up into the upstairs somehow. Either that, I hate to drill another hole in the house. There's enough crap coming out of this house already. I have to drill a hole like there and... We'll see though. We will see. Well, I looked by. I didn't see where the wires come in here. Kind of spooky down here, man. Hope nothing gets me. If they want to get me though, I'll get them back. Uh oh. My zapper battery ran out. What I'm going to do is shove a co-hanger in that little hole where all those other holes are and see if it comes out the bottom or see if it comes out the top inside. Best way of doing it because I can't see where it comes in from upstairs and I can't see where it comes in from the crawl space. Alright, showing that coat hanger in here. See if it comes out from underneath. Sounds like the boys have finished up over there. Okay, back in that truck out now. That's good. Time to go back in the hole. This time I got light power here. I don't see any varmints in here. I don't see it. See if I can see Mr. Coat Hanger if I get in there. Okay, I found it. There's the coat hanger. That's where it comes in. And that's where it comes in. That's where it goes up. That's where it goes up into the uh, downstairs area. So that's where it comes in from outside. It's about four inches difference there. 
So that's what I gotta do. Gotta drill a hole there. Drill a hole up there. And uh, get that new wire upstairs there. Shoving my new cable through that hole there. Yeah. There. Put a mask on for the fiberglass uh, insulation underneath there. Underneath the hole there. Got Mr. Coat Hanger and I'm fishing this wire out. And there it is. That's the wire. Just got to put up here. There it is. Eureka! Now I gotta show you what I'm gonna do with it now. See, I'm using this this dually wall plate here with dual receptacles, and the new wire is gonna be going upstairs to the upstairs bedrooms and to the attic to the antenna. And this wire is the original wire, but that just has the cable modem information on there now. So I got the two separated and I wanted to do that. So uh, just kind of straighten out this insulation in here. And uh, button it all back up. Then I got to button up outside. I got to hook the, um, the uh, ionization tube up uh, to the ground. I haven't done that yet, so I got to do that. Okay, I got the ground wire all hooked up to the discharge tube or a surge suppressor, whatever they want to call it. And that goes from upstairs cable into the surge suppressor, into the splitter, comes out of the splitter two-way. One goes to that new cable I just put in that goes down in there, down to the basement, and then up into the first floor. And this one comes out and goes back up to the second floor to like the bedroom up there so I got all like kind of together and put the cover on and button this puppy up so here's the cover let's get it on there and there it goes yeah let me check that no it's good it's good There it goes. Okay, now let's check and see if everything works. At least the modem works. Let's see if the modem still works. Okay, there's my uh, my jack wall plate. That's the modem from uh, the cable company modem there. And we're still using that, but we'll probably drop that in September. And this top one's for the antenna that goes up in the attic. Now, like I said, I wanted to separate those because this is pretty hot. I didn't want to get that signal into the sensitive antenna tuner that I got. Now, let's see, this is still working here. Yep, the modem is happily modem modeming. So, um, take it easy, folks. And I'm thinking next week I'm going to get the antenna all hooked up in the attic. Just haven't been able to do it because of the bathroom remodeling stuff going on and um, I got to get some help getting the ladder up in the attic and the wife kind of hurt her hand a little bit so I'm waiting for her to feel better so take it easy folks take it easy bye